I'm Sophie Van Wambeek. I'm um, an assistant professor in Université Catholique de Louvain. I live in Brussels. Um, I'm a geographer and my field of research is in medical geography. When I started as an assistant professor in UCL, um, I was offered the opportunity to uh, travel uh, abroad for some time and um, I decided I should definitely spend some time in the US for various reasons. Um, and one of the reasons was that my network in Europe is relatively well uh, developed, but it wasn't so well developed in the United States, so I thought this was a great opportunity to develop it. And um, another reason was that I know that the research culture there is a little bit different, and I was very keen on experiencing that. My, my research of places to go mostly focused on um, groups that I wanted to, to work with and, and, and learn from. So that's, that's how I looked as opposed to um, names of schools or such things. So I quite rapidly narrowed it down to three places, three groups with whom I was uh, interested in working and to whom I thought I could maybe bring something. Um, and then um, depending on previous contacts I had already, uh, I chose University of Hawaii uh, to go and, and do research. The University uh, of Hawaii was a choice that always, um, I always caused an interesting reaction in people <laughs> whenever I mentioned it. Um, I'm, I'm sure that it's quite similar to uh, many other campuses in the United States and probably in many ways it's also quite different. There's a lot of very interesting things going on there and there's a lot of uh, research going on there that is focusing on, on Hawaii which in terms of ecology and including in disease ecology has a number of very specific problems and, and issues that are being dealt with, with with people there in the University of Hawaii. Because the people I was working with there were also um, were also involved in, in an institution there called the East West Center. Um, they had also lo lots of connection with um, all sorts of other countries in the Pacific. So it's in a way it's a quite isolated place, but it's also a place that's very uh, open to the rest of the world and with a big emphasis on the Pacific region. Well, when I decided to go to the US, I looked for all sorts of um, ways to get help uh, getting to the US and getting funding and Fulbright was one of them and in very um, practical terms the, the Fulbright was one that allowed me to go and stay there for less one, than one year which was a constraint for me because I have a position here in Belgium. So initially it was for a practical reason that I applied but during the process of applying and um, definitely um, when I received the grant and, and actually did the stay I realized that there was something a bit particular about the, uh, the Fulbright grants and um, when you're planning to do research you're sort of focusing on, on that plan you have and, and but the Fulbright grant comes with this whole idea of exchange between cultures and, and really meeting with the people uh, in the place uh, where you're staying and that ended up being a very important part of my, of my stay, sorry. So, um, so in that way, for me, getting a Fulbright grant was a, was a success. A, a major result of um, my stay in the US was that I really got to know better the American culture. Um, we, we encounter it so often on a daily basis here through the news or through movies, etc. We never really expect we can be surprised by it, but, but yes, we can be surprised by it when we experience it really there with, with the people on, an, on a daily basis. So that was definitely uh, something that was um, a significant um, outcome of um, my stay there. 
Um, for my career, definitely this was um, a good opportunity to expand my network. It worked very well in that way and I'm still in touch with the people um, I worked with there where we have publications in, in preparation and submitted. So hopefully we can keep the contacts going and, and keep on working together. Something that may be of interest to some applicants um, is when, when I applied to the, to the Fulbright grant and especially when I did the interview, um, I had the feeling that I was a bit of a, um, an outsider. Maybe, maybe I just don't know enough of the people who applied and eventually got it. But when I, when I did the interview in particular, I had before and after me, people who were applying to uh, Ivy League uh, institution and um, um, in very um, very important research topics like chemistry and 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 cell research and things like that, and I thought, oh, I'm here with an ecology-oriented research topic and asking to go to, to Hawaii of all places. Um, so I, I w wasn't actually very hopeful, um, but eventually I, I got the grant. So um, if people think that maybe their application is a bit too bizarre or, <laughs> or specific or particular, maybe they shouldn't get deterred by that. C'est peut-être quelque chose d'évident, mais je dirais qu'il faut garder les yeux et l'esprit ouverts quand on, quand on part aux États-Unis et essayer de profiter de chaque moment de, de l'expérience, que ce soit sur le plan professionnel ou le plan personnel.